Swanson's Theory of Caring by Tracy Williams. The theory of caring was originally developed by Gene Watson in the late 1970s and is said to be a grand theory. In 1991, Kristen Swanson proposed her caring theory and is a middle range theory. Swanson states, caring is a nurturing way of relating to a value toward whom one feels a personal sense of commitment and responsibility. She implies that nursing care is a set of interrelated processes that advance from the nurse's own convictions and knowledge in his or her interaction with the patient. The objective of the theory of caring is to deliver care that promotes dignity, respect, and empowerment. Swanson's theory of caring provides an abstract concept in that it focuses on teaching and healing during pregnancy and provides insight on how families and healthcare providers cope with miscarriages and the healing process necessary to provide closure. Swanson's theory has five dimensions. Knowing, being with, doing for, enabling, and maintaining belief. We will now take a closer look at the five dimensions. Knowing. Knowing strives to understand an event as it has meaning in the life of the other individual, meaning the patient. The nurse avoids assumptions, focuses on the care of the patient, conducts a thorough assessment, seeks cues from the patient, and engages the patient and themselves. Being with means being emotionally available to the patient, physically and emotionally, showing ability, sharing feelings, but making sure that the nurse is not being a burden to the patient. Doing for, doing for the other as he or she would be expected to do for self if it were at all possible. This involves the nurse providing comfort, anticipating the needs of the patient, providing skills necessary to provide care for the patient, protecting the patient from harm, and preserving their dignity. Enabling involves assisting others through the passage of life's transition, whether it be birth or death or just an unfamiliar situation. The nurse informs or explains to the patient what is going on, what is expected, provides support, focuses on the needs of the patient, offers alternatives to coping, and gives validation. Maintaining belief. Sustaining faith in the other's ability to get through an encounter or transition and face a future with meaning. The nurse understands and believes in the patient, provides a hope-filled attitude, 
and remains optimistic. According to Alligood, caring calls forth from the practitioner an authentic presence of being in the caring moment. Things that should be considered prior to implication includes holism, empathy, communication, clinical competence, technical proficiency, and interpersonal skills. According to Swanson, Nurses who are not able to practice within their care and context are reported to be hardened, oblivious, robot-like, frightened, and worn down. In conclusion, my opinion is caring should be the center of nursing. At times, nurses can become overwhelmed with the countless duties placed upon us. However, it is our responsibility as nurses to ensure exceptional care is provided. In the end, care may be the deciding factor of a patient's outcome. I have provided a link and encourage each of you to participate in the reading to gain further knowledge of Swanson's theory of caring.